Hello my lovelies, it is Aurora Sims and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time ever clicking on one of my videos. I am Kennedy with an I and this is part number one of The Sims 3 University. <laughs> So the anticipation for this series has been literally insane. I made a big announcement last week about uh, this episode and when it was going to come out and it was originally supposed to come out Friday and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to make it come out on Saturday because it just makes sense. Saturday is like the day and some people might have school on Friday so I thought that, you know, Saturday would make more sense but I am really, really excited regardless to show you guys this whole process. So um, I have had kind of an idea in my brain and my main idea is I wanted to make this let's play different from other people's let's plays because one thing that I've noticed from watching university let's plays is that there's kind of like that you know nerdy girl and the super like just ah, I don't even know how to word it promiscuous popular girl that throws out the parties that's just the typical stereotypical thing that people do um, in their university let's plays. so I kind of be a little bit different I want to kind of make my characters different but maybe that's just me and might get a little bit boring because of that I don't know but uh, let me just kind of go ahead and introduce you guys to the characters and tell you a little bit about them and I'm gonna kind of rush through it because I don't like to talk for too long I just kind of like to get straight on into the gameplay so this is Sophia Cruz and she's actually going to be one of our students and I freaking love this girl she is just so hilarious I'm gonna have so much fun playing with her and I know that you guys are gonna love her as well so a few things about Sophia and her traits is she actually has commitment issues I like to give at least one bad trait to my sims and I would technically consider commitment issues to be sort of a bad trait um, so she she just doesn't want to settle down. She doesn't want to be involved with someone long term. She just kind of likes those short little year long relationships. And then she's just like, okay, okay, let's end this now. I'm tired of being in this. So she has big commitment issues. She's also a diva. Now, a little thing about Sophia's past is that she was actually raised by her mother and father. And her mother is very, very Broadway. Okay, she was actually a very famous famous Broadway singer and so um Sophia kind of took in her mother's footsteps and she kind of has this I'm better than everybody attitude and it may get her in a little bit of trouble she's very confident in her own skin she's very confident with herself she loves herself this girl could stare at herself in the mirror for a lifetime she just loves herself and you know there's nothing wrong with that but she's just very confident She's also a natural born performer. She is a party animal, of course, and she's also star quality. So she might just slay a little bit with a fine arts degree. Um, she also wants to be a superstar actor. That is her goal, even though she is a great singer, as her mom was as well. Um, she really wants to pursue an acting career, and she doesn't want to be like her mom. She doesn't want to act on Broadway. She wants to be a, like, television telenovela kind of actress you know what I mean so she definitely sees herself doing that and so some of her favorites she loves spaghetti she loves classical music of course she's been raised around that kind of stuff and she also loves the color line so this is Katrina Marks and she is our other girl I didn't really get to show off Sophia's outfit but I'm gonna go ahead and show off Katrina's um, she has this cute little tank top. It's kind of like a crop top sort of thing. Not a tank top. I don't know why I said tank top, but it is a crop top. And then she's also got these cute little mom jeans and this cute, uh, these cute shoes here. And I just love her hair. Like I freaking live for it, girl. Slay the game. But yeah, so that's a little bit about Katrina. Let me go ahead and show you guys her traits. So Katrina was raised by a single father and her father was a very, very successful cop okay he was really good at his job he knew what he was doing he knew his career like the back of his freaking hands now her dad actually passed away on the job and ever since then um, she kind of felt the need to follow in his footsteps she felt the need to kind of be like him in a way and just live on his legacy and so since she doesn't have any other siblings Katrina feels like it's her responsibility to take over that um, the legacy of her father by becoming an officer and she actually wants to become a forensic specialist and that is level 10 in the law enforcement career 
And a little bit about Katrina. She is adventurous. She is a daredevil, of course. She's going to be a cop. She's also just a little bit wonky. Oh, gosh, a little bit insane. Uh, and she's also perceptive and a vehicle enthusiast. Her favorites include tofu dogs. She loves soul music. And she also loves the color blue, which explains her outfit. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take you all into the world i'm so excited i cannot wait to play this freaking family like you guys don't even know all right so let's go ahead and continue so we are living in ann arbor and just to kind of keep the idea of realism i kind of want to move them in to an apartment um most simmers when they do university let's plays they usually move their sims into houses but i don't know i just feel like it's kind of unrealistic i mean they're university students most university students broke okay and i would know because i am one um i eat ramen noodles on a daily <laughs> like that's just our freaking diet ramen noodles are literally a university students only diet but uh anyways so there is the apple street apartments and we also have the Riverdale apartments. Hmm. Charming one bedroom, one bathroom apartment on the main level with fenced back patio. All right. This one furnished for four Sims. Because this only has one bedroom and the other one may have features one bedroom, one bath, and an elevated living room area. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like we're going to university. So we'll just pick this one whatever doesn't even matter because we are going to university all right you guys so basically what we have to do is we just kind of have to wait for the mascot so i'm gonna go ahead and actually get katrina and uh sophia to talk a little bit and uh, if you'd like to know a little bit more about their life and their story, it'll be down below. Like if you want to know how they met and things like that, um, I have descriptions of my series down below. So you can go ahead and check that out and it'll kind of have an explanation of how they met and their background story, everything like that. So anyways, they're just going to go ahead and talk a little bit, kind of get to know each other because they're not really familiar with each other. We're going to shock a bra enthuse about new house all that stuff like that and um is the university mascot here yet they need to hurry up like seriously we can't be here all day let's go ahead and look at our apartment really quick i didn't get the chance to look at it so let's go ahead and do that um, so this is what it looks like on the outside. It's actually pretty freaking cute um, even though we won't really ever be using this apartment it's still here and um this is i guess just our apartment is that it it's kind of lame wait is this it really oh you know what because we got it unfurnished that's why because i figured we didn't need it furnished considering the fact that we're never going to be here so um makes sense that's a pretty cute apartment i've actually never really had my sims live in apartments in the sims 3 which is so strange to me but uh, anyways, they're just going to talk a little bit, have a little bit of fun, have some conversation, things like that. Just basically until the mascot comes because we're just going to wait for that. And so uh, we're going to brighten her day and things like that. See how, see how she's doing. Guys, the mascot's here. I see her. <gasps> Yay! Wait, is it a her? Is the, is the llama a her? Yes, it is. Yes, she's strutting. She's doing that woohoo walk. She just got some booty. That's why she's walking like that, you guys. I swear. That's literally the woohoo walk. All right, come on, llama. Come on, llama, llama. That reminds me of Emperor's New Groove. Every time I freaking see this llama, I'm just like, Emperor's New Groove. But uh, anyways, so she's going to go ahead and give us our thing, I hope. Okay, yeah, cool. Come give us our freaking university package, you stupid llama, please. S please? Where are you going? Why are you doing your woohoo walk all the way over here? Like, that's what I would like to know. Woohoo your way out of my house. Okay, there we go. So here is the university um, thing here. I'm going to kind of move it because the mascot's in the way. Can I move it? Okay, yeah, we're going to move right there. All right, and uh, we're going to take this aptitude test. I'm kind of curious to see because um, I know there's a possibility that obviously we won't pass it, but 
I mean, if we can get something from it, it may help. You know, like our traits and things should probably help Sophia. But I'm not really sure I'm feeling confident about Katrina. She might just kind of be stuck like Chuck, but that's okay. Got the university mascot in the background. If you don't know me or if you've never subscribed, I like to take pictures. So don't judge me. That's just what I like to do. All right. Yay. All right. So let's go ahead and just kind of wait for them to finish. It's going to take a while, but they'll do it. They will finish. I feel like, as I said, Sophia's probably going to get a scholarship. I don't think that Katrina will, just because I feel like her treats don't really fit for what she wants to do necessarily. Who is this? Congrats. Oh, this is Katrina. Yeah. See, told you she wasn't going to get a scholarship. She did get the most out of everything. She got the most in science and medicine. Uh, let's see, uh, science and medicine, fishing, gardening, science, alchemy, traits, genius, bookworm, perfectionist, socially awkward, green thumb, and perceptive, okay? We want to go to the technology career. That's where we want to go because of law enforcement, so. All right, yes, of course. And of freaking course, she gets a scholarship. I told you guys. So Sophia Cruz has gotten a scholarship that is worth a thousand simoleons or she'll receive a thousand simoleons per term. So she got six fine arts credits and six technology credits. I don't see how she got a technology credit. Like I don't, she doesn't, she's not a genius. She's not a computer whiz. She's not handy. She has no sense of humor. Like she has a humor. So I don't even know, but, um, she's definitely going to go into fine arts. So that's fine. She did good girl. You done good. Let's go ahead and grab our university freebies. I'm so excited for this series. You guys so freaking excited. She's like, yeah, freebies, free stuff. That's literally me. <laughs> literally me oh my gosh free items you gotta love it all right so they got their new gear so now we're gonna go ahead and go through our smartphone and we are going to register for classes how do we do this all right enroll in university cool so we actually have so much money because of the fact that we just didn't get our place furnished, which I feel like a lot of people should do just because that makes more sense. Like, we're not really going to live here, so it just makes sense. Okay, so we got $1,000 in financial aid. So let's go ahead and do for Sophia. We want to do fine arts. And we're going to do two terms. And 12 credits just because I want to start a little bit short this time because I'm not 100% sure how this series will go. So we're just going to do two terms, 12 credits, no biggie. And Katrina, let's do technology. And um, Katrina might have to do a little longer. She might have to do 24, but then she still won't be caught up. Hmm. I don't know. All right, let's just, um, we'll do Katrina at 24 credits and uh, Sophia will only take 12. Uh, just, just so I don't overwhelm myself. So yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to do two terms, 24 credits technology for Katrina. And uh, Sophia is going to have 12 credits for two terms. Cool. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take them to university. Awesome. I'm so excited. Okay. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Move your caboose. Move your caboose. Move your caboose. Move your caboose. So we are in university. I don't know where I want to go. Oh my God. There's so many options. So um, I was kind of thinking of going to an all girl sorority. But then I was like, but then we can't get with any men. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Like, do we want to shake our cacas? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to, hmm. I kind of, I really like Henry and um, Deanda Hall. 
But Malin Hall is different because I don't think that I've ever been there. I always go to DeAnda or Henry. Um, and Malin Hall is closer to the campus. So we'll do this one just because it's zero dollars. And, you know, we can always experiment. I think maybe in our second term, we'll try moving somewhere else, maybe. I don't know. Um, we could always try. But uh, yeah, so anyways, we are at university. And of course, there's freaking supernaturals here. I don't want you. Go away, go away, go away. All right, hold on. Let me change my settings. And whoa, I need to fix this too. I know how to fix it, which is vampires, werewolves. We don't want any of those. Get rid of them. I hate when there's supernaturals in here. Oh my gosh, Asala lives here. Oopsie daisy. This is going to be weird. All right, anyways, yeah, but uh, we'll go ahead and live here. I actually kind of like this. This is a nice, a nice space. I like it. All right, so really quickly, why is she in a robe? <laughs> what a weirdo. Okay. Um, I'll be right back, you guys. I need to get rid of all of these people here. Okay, so living in dorms. Now that you have arrived, you may want to take a minute to select the bed you want to claim and decorate your room. Don't forget to set the lock options on the doors if you prepare to keep out visitors. Or prefer... prefer can't say that word. That's why. <laughs> um, prefer. Yes. Okay. So we are going to select our room because we're stingy. This house looks so familiar. This looks exactly like Henry Hall. Are you freaking kidding me? Anyways, um, I want this room because I always pick this room. So we are going to go ahead and lock it. And we're going to actually let's not lock it, but we are definitely going to be uh, setting our bed. So this is going to be oops, not Millie. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll make this for uh, Katrina. Okay, and then this one will be for um, Sophia. All right, so yeah, and uh, I kind of want them to get to know. I don't know why Katrina is in her freaking robe, but I mean, whatever. Whatever floats your goat, girl. Whatever floats your goat. You're just showing everybody your goodies. I mean, if that's what you want to do. Why don't you just get naked? Because honestly, you might as well be with that robe. All right, let's go ahead and kind of talk to everybody in the dorms. Let me know in the comments down below if we should give the people in the dorms a bit of an upgrade. I definitely want to go in and uh, get rid of Asala because she is in my current household, so I just feel like it's a little bit weird. Um, but Katrina is actually talking to this girl named Tiffany, which is pretty interesting. She's actually really cool. Um, and then I think that Sophia is going to talk to this girl, Tammy. So let's see. T Tiffany's a nerd, which is perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and chat with her. I don't think that they're going to really care about the whole click thing, but I definitely do think that Katrina could fit in maybe more of the rebel nerd type of group i definitely feel like because she wants to be a cop i think or she might be even able to do it all because of the fact that obviously uh jocks are a little bit more athletic and you have to be athletic to be a cop things like that so i don't know and uh yeah so sophia is over here talking to tammy i don't know how sophia would be either I just feel like she wouldn't even care about clicks or anything. She just care about being a success and being famous. And that's all she cares about. And the best way to be famous is to get your name out there and to meet famous people in university. So we are definitely going to try and do that. Let's go ahead and be funny and uh, tell her a funny story. And I'm just kind of waiting for orientation because I definitely don't want to miss that. That's really important. Let's go ahead and actually really quickly check out our class schedule. Uh, let's check out Katrina's first. Okay, so she has, oh my gosh, she has a crazy schedule. Okay, so Boost, Boost School of Science. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. Don't judge me. All right, so we have class Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
12 p.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then on Tuesday, we have class from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Keith's Comics. And then on Thursday, we have class from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., which I'm guessing these are both lectures and class activities. Yeah, it says that. So pretty awesome. The class activities and the lectures are actually my favorite part because you don't really have to do anything, especially with the class activities. And um, so she, her classes aren't as bad. She only has one class every single day, which is pretty cool. So, um, okay, Thomas School of Art, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 to 6, Andy Connor Student Union Building, 12 to 2, and the Thomas School of Art, 12 to 2. Cool. We've got a pretty flexible schedule, which means that we can actually have a lot of fun in this the few first few episodes of the Sluts Play, because we don't really have to worry about too much. So um, let's go ahead and tell a story. And we are going to compliment her. And they're just kind of all talking. I don't know why, but these people are kind of interesting. So this is... T Tiberius, however the hell you... Oh my gosh. Alright, this is Anaki. Really? They would put all these people in here whose names I cannot pronounce. And then of course we've got Asala Karam who I have given a major makeover in my current household, so yeah. Anyways, who is this girl and why is she in our room? Get the hell out! Are we gonna have to fight you? Okay, I'm not trying to be mean. Like, I really mean this in the nicest way possible, but doesn't her face look like a body part? <laughs> like a, like a, like a foot or something? Okay, listen, <laughs> I mean it in the nicest way. I do. Okay. But, um, this is not going to cut it. So, uh, you need to get the hell out of our room. Seriously. Uh, who should I get to be rude to her? Let's see. Who, I, who would be mean to her? I feel like. We need to be kicking some Botox up in here. All right, listen, Sophia, come over here and be rude to her. Uh, by the way, I know that some of you guys probably noticed that her traits were different. For some reason, they changed when I went into university, and I don't really know why, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a glitch or something. I don't know, but her traits had changed, and so did her lifetime wish, so I had to go back and create a sim and fix it but this girl needs to get the hell out of her room you too tammy parker <laughs> i'm gonna tammy kick you in the face get out of my room thank you all right let's go ahead and uh let's be mean accuse her of being a diva even though we're the diva okay um we're going to imply her mother was a glow bug because i'm pretty sure that that's offensive i don't know what a glow bug is you probably don't know either but that's okay i think it's a firefly which I freaking love fireflies. Yell at her. Be like, get the hell out of this house. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're such a rude person. Oh my God. I'm going to make them enemies. I'm going to give Millie such a hot girl makeover and they're just going to hate each other. All because poor Mrs. Millie was just trying to get her funk on in the room. Fight her. This is a great first episode, isn't it? <laughs> fighting on the first part i'm sorry you guys she was getting on my nerves we had to do it okay we had to mrs elbow we had to get her she looks like a body part i'm just saying i don't know what kind of body part maybe the elbow maybe the i don't know the boot boot i just don't know but she does look like a body part <laughs> anyways so um oh it's the orientation perfect we just kicked some booty and now we are going to orientation. People who are new to my channel are, are probably like, this girl is so annoying. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. Anyways, um, sorry for laughing. I know my joy may disturb some people. All right. So anyways, she is heading off to the student union. I think Katrina's already there. She's really close to being there. She's very, very close. She's getting there slowly but surely we don't have all day to watch you guys walk like can you please hurry up we're definitely gonna uh invest in some bikes that would really really help 
But anyways, so this is the student union. If you have The Sims 3 University, you've probably seen this a thousand freaking times. So many people have done Let's Plays for this stuff. But anyways, um, so this is the student union. If you have Sims 3 University, you've probably seen this place a million times. Uh, Katrina's here though. So we're going to go ahead and get a freebie. Let's grab a candy bar and maybe a poster that we can hang up in our room. Where are you going? Come back downstairs, you weirdo. Come on. And of course, are you kidding me? <laughs> Sophia, come downstairs and get yourself some freebies. Free stuff is uh, the best stuff, just saying. Go ahead and grab a soda. We actually got invited to a party. Let's go ahead and see the invitation. It's a juice kegger. Why would you wear swimwear to a juice kegger? I don't know, ye. But anyways, we were invited, so we're going to go. Um, and it's at Sunday at 6 p.m. Perfect. And of course, the mascots over here like, look at me now. I'm hot. All right. Let's go ahead and read about our curriculum. Just to kind of see what we are looking forward to. Because that'd be kind of interesting. All right. This is way too much to read. Uh, all technology students receive a brain enhancing machine when they declare their major. This ingenious device can boost your academic performance when used outside the classroom, but it's also a necessary tool for in class activities. Be careful not to fry your neurons. Oh my gosh. Class lectures. <laughs> Whoever wrote this is such a dork. I love it. Okay. Classes, lectures, and class activities are required for all students, but engineers must learn by doing. Technology majors receive extra credit for building their handiness, logic, and inventing skills. Perfect. So we are definitely going to go ahead and take this opportunity to also talk to our professor. Kind of interested to see what he looks like or she. And uh, our girl has just gotten a diet glonka cola, glonk diet glonka cola. That's hard to say. Say that three times. Anyway, she's going to drink her giant glonka cola. I can't even say that three times. I would honestly just <laughs> wouldn't be able to survive. All right. So we've got our cola and uh, Katrina has her chunky nougat surprise, which is very interesting. And, uh, yeah, there's fairies literally everywhere. We need to get rid of those. Let's see. Let's see who else is here. There's got this guy with the crazy jawline, Muhammad. We've got uh, Dave Bean, who is the mascot, of course. We've also got Miles Fortwright, who's pretty freaking cute. Um, and then Ludio, Ludo Facio, however the hell heck you say that we've got this old man walking on his cane yeah uh -huh. look at him now he's doing it he's getting it and then uh we've also got jeffrey mean over here i know his name's jeffrey dean i just don't like him anyways and then we've also got richard randall he's actually kind of cute wait hold on richard come back richard boy let me see what you look like oh you're pretty cute He's actually kind of cute. This guy in the background is creeping the hell out of me. What's your name, dude? And what do you have on? Harold A Asinji. Asinji. Um, okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, interesting. Uh, Katrina actually wants to meet a rebel. Perfect. And she wants to drink a soda, which we actually have. So, I'm going to go ahead and let her drink it. And uh, Mrs. Sophia here wants to meet a nerd. She also wants to meet a rebel and play chess. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. I feel like maybe, you know, Sophia would be super competitive and she would like want to um, to kind of, you know, be a part of every single social group and get top at everything because she feels like she's just the most amazing person ever. I feel like Katrina not Katrina, Sophia reminds me of Rachel Berry from Glee. She just wants to be the top of everything. She thinks she's better than everybody. Like she, she just wants to be the top notch, the top dog. And so that's kind of what she reminds me of. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, complain about Millie because she's a little meanie. Guys, give Millie a nickname down below, okay? <laughs> that only people that watch this series would know what we're talking about. Definitely go ahead and give her a uh, nickname. So this guy's going to give us a compliment. I think it's the mascot. I don't know why he's complimenting us, but okay. 
But yeah, uh, leave leave some leave some leave some nicknames down below that we gonna call this girl. It's gonna be her little her secret name that uh, Sophia calls her behind her back because she doesn't like her. So anyways, uh, she's going to go and talk to Dave Bean. I'm guessing he's trying to get his Mac on. And Sophia's just like, uh-uh, honey, not interested. But uh, of course, we did get to meet a nerd, which is good. We got that level up. But uh, anyways, you guys, oh, we are running out of time. I do have to go ahead and end this right on here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We did do a lot in this part. And I'm sorry I'm not as like crazy as I usually am. It is literally three in the morning. Like that's how serious I was about recording this series because I have a lot of family over. So I just can't. I just can't record during the day right now. But uh, anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed regardless. As I said before, we did a lot of things. We got through university. I explained to you guys the characters and we got in a fight, which was insane. So regardless of all of that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy my videos and this is your first time ever clicking on one of them, you should subscribe, okay? If you like The Sims 3, why not, all right? This is The Sims 3 gang over here. We only do The Sims 3 up in this piece. Anyways, you guys, I love you all so much. Hope you have an amazing, amazing Saturday, and I will catch you all tomorrow for my very next video. Adios, you guys.